Hey guys, I just wanted to throw out this how-to guide on uh, CFF Explorer. This is actually something that can get your games to use more RAM if they aren't developed that way. This is something that uh, Podcats EXE does. It also does some other things, I'm not too sure, but uh, I know one of them is this, and that makes Black Ice run a lot better because it tends to be a bigger game and it uses a lot more RAM. So I'm just going to show you, first off, you download CFF Explorer. On Google, right? Don't go to CNET. Just go to the regular site, like the actual site of CFF. Download the Explorer suite. I'm going to download here. You're just going to install it, right? Run. Install it wherever you want. I already have it installed, but uh, that's pretty much it. Self-explanatory. After that, we're going to open up CFF Explorer. We're going to open up our Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice EXE. Actually, I think it's just going to be the Hearts of Iron, their finest hour EXE is what we want to uh, open up. So open. we got to go find it, right? So we'll go to our Hearts of Iron Black Ice. And then we take our their finest hour EXE and open. So now it opens, up in a, it opens it up in this window here. And just let me, give me one second. I just want to make sure I know where to go. is in here so file header characteristics and then in, in characteristics characteristics you're going to go down to app can handle it should be unticked if you guys aren't using podcasts this will be unticked and because I've already done it to mine it is ticked already but you actually want to tick this off if it's not and this is going to actually give the game the ability to use more than, greater than 2 gigabytes of address space. And that's basically it. So you say, click it, say OK, file, save. Yes, overwrite original file. I'm not going to do it, I just don't want to screw around with anything. But you guys would say yes to this, right? Because you want to make it so that it will use more than 2 gigabytes. And after that, you should be able to run your game properly. Now. Um, Sometimes you guys might have installed the game improperly, and that's the reason it won't load. But this has a lot to do with um, the game actually crashing and stuff like that. If it's not loading at all, it might be something else. But you can also try this first before you start going through some other troubleshooting techniques. It also works good for other games, too. I mean, there's some other games out there that, uh, by by default, don't use more than 2 gigs. And most uh, computers these days have more than that anyway. So you can actually change that, uh, such as like Rome Total War. And then maybe some other games. I'm not too sure right now, but you guys get the idea. I think SimCity as well. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it helped. Uh, leave any comments or questions you have in the description below or in the comments section below. And I'll answer them. Thanks a lot, guys.